Hello guys, now I'm going to show you how to use Mac in Cloud for iOS and iPhone uh, development using .NET MAUI. Um, the first thing you want to do is go to macincloud.com and when you're in here go to check out macincloud.com uh, and you get these pricing options. And um, what I've tried out is manage server. You can probably also use PSUGO. Uh, just let's sign up this one and choose your currency and uh, where you want to have your uh, location. Remember you need at least Montreal 12 operating system and um, I've just uh, chosen the default around here. Um, there you see you have 10 day monthly limit with this plan. So let's just click next and click your um, info and uh, pay the way you want. So what I've done though is registered here and paid and then you will get an email. It will look like this and um, here you see that you get a username and a password. So <laughs> the only thing you need to do now is download this um, zip file, open it and uh, unzip it and then we will have some options. I have a big screen here so I will choose this one. Um, and just write in your uh, credentials, username and password. And then hit the login button. So I tried this solution a couple of times and I don't remember uh, all the details how I made it work. But um, I think the way I did it was uh, I had to send a ticket to I had to send a ticket to um, Mac and Cloud to uh, ask them to install the .NET dependencies and um, um, to make it work. I had problems this last time with um, with uh, Java as well. So I could only deploy for iOS. So here's what I did to make it work. I'm right clicking um, over here on the solution and properties. And what I did to, um, no wait, I clicked on the wrong one. Not the, uh, the second uh, project's name here. Uh, project file and properties, not the upper one. So there you get target platforms. So I removed the Android target because I had some problems with Java even though Android Studio is working fine. So just as you know, this is now working fine and I can run the project. So there you go. You have a working uh, iPhone simulation and you can use Mac in Cloud to ensure you have uh, iPhone development uh, proper setup. I would give you one suggestion uh, to get started early with your app um, because there are some differences. I had a lot of issues with my app I developed for a lot, uh, many months and when I'm now starting to develop the same app on iPhone, there are some issues. I am writing an article about that. You can see the link in the comments so you don't do the same mistakes as me. So uh, good luck with uh, setting this up. I can show you guys if you want to know how to send a ticket. Support. new support ticket and use your account mail support type 
I think I chose other type of plan. Um, manage server I using support application. I don't know if you can see the text here, but let's just try it out. Um, um, a specific application or SDK requires an update. If you get the update issue, you know, you will know if you have this issue when you open Visual Studio, you will get the notification under this notification here that the SDK is not installed and you will not be able to run on iPhone or Mac OS. That's how you know it. Um, so let's just see here. Come on. There you go. And subject uh, install um, dot net Maui dependencies. Yeah, write it right. <laughs> I was so uh, I did want, wanted it urgent, but you can see how your priority is. Um, and just say that the dependencies for .NET Maui to use Visual Studio is not uh, ready on my server. Please help. There you go. Now you should be able to uh, run Mac in Cloud. Just um, put a comment down below if you have any more questions. So good luck with uh, getting started.